Let's take a look at the Huawei File Manager. If you open it up for the first time, this is what you will see. You have various different categories here above, like images, videos, audio, documents, uh, save, favorites, apps, and archives. And you can just either click on, for example, documents and see all the documents here. You can open them up if you want to. You have a search here for documents. And you also have the option to sort by time, size, name, or by type, or enter a filter if you only want to have certain files in here like for example I don't want to have text files in my documents folder and the same goes for all the other ones here you can also find archives which is pretty interesting if you're searching for zip files that you downloaded for example or even apps if you're searching for applications that you have installed just like it has an installed category here for installed applications and you can just click on one of those installed application and it will open up or what you can also do is press and hold and go into details which show you the um, details about this application just like where it is installed where the installation path is and how big the file size uh, is and when it was installed actually or last time no when it was last time called and then you also have the option to go to installation packages so if you have installation packages that you don't have installed but you have downloaded from somewhere just like for example i have downloaded the new netflix from apk pure it will um, appear here and if you're searching for an installation package that you downloaded and you cannot remember where you downloaded it to you have the option to search here and here you can also go in and have more options just like if i have this apk file i have the option to share the file down here i have the option to copy to move or to delete sorry to delete or click on more to have some more options just like with every file i have the option to upload to huawei drive you have huawei drive i think five gigabytes for free if you have huawei cloud activated Otherwise, I think it costs uh, a bit of money to, to get more space. Uh, you can pin it as a favorite. You can move it to a safe. Moving to a safe would mean that you have the option to enable the safe first. If you enable the safe first, it is yeah, basically an encrypted uh, partition, an encrypted drive image in your storage. You can choose the storage. In this case, I only have the internal storage here and I can enter a password. So if you want to access this file, I have to enter this password to get to this file. So this is very interesting for very important stuff that you want to keep. And this works with all the files that you have on your system. You can rename, you can compress the file, of course, and you can also list the details of the file, like what is the file name, what is the file type, the size, and where is the path actually. So you can do this and of course the same applies if you go to internal storage. You have the option to browse through those uh, files and folders here. And if I go for example micro log, I want this to be in one of the favorites. I say I want this to be a favorite, add it to favorites. If I go back here, you can see I have a favorites uh, folder here where I can just click on and get my favorite files. And of course if I go here, I can also say unfavorite and it's not anymore in my favorite files and you have this is safe so if you want to put something in your safe you can click on this and then uh, you have to enable the safe of course i didn't um, go through this yet and what's pretty cool is you have also a file browser for networking shares network neighborhood it's called and as far as i'm aware it is able to scan for different networks that offer smb or zamba shares uh, and in this case, I have, for example, my uh, laptop here, which has a Samba share. I already entered my data, my password and my username to uh, be able to access my, my laptop. And I can go in here and uh, can access stuff like, for example, pictures. And I have the option to just simply copy one of the pictures over to my uh, device itself. So long press here, I can say copy. And then I can go into other location and choose my internal storage and copy stuff like this. And of course, the other way around works the same. So I can copy stuff to my network share. SMB, Samba share means also Windows and Mac OS can be used not only, not only Linux like I use it here. 
Then you can see on the bottom we have a local storage here which uh, shows you the storage that you are using right now and if you can if you click on this it will get you more details like how many uh, images I'm using how many uh, how, or how much images are using videos uh, audio documents archives and so on so you have the option to clean up this is the cleanup manager of uh, the file manager also I think available under the storage settings so pretty handy but then we have a, a few tabs here down below so we can go for example to recent which is pretty interesting because if you have recent applications open they will show as quick access on the top and there you have the option to show the recent files that you exchanged for example with WeChat or WhatsApp, uh, Huawei Share for example if you can click on this I see the files that I got from Huawei Share and I can sort them via uh, images, um, videos and so on and uh, the same goes for the download manager so I can see what I downloaded lastly uh, and find uh, files and folders like this by and one file was updated right now by uh, using this here also go to screenshots and cameras I can um, edit the quick access you can see I have five different folders here that I have pinned and I have the option to pin other applications so for example by default there was Facebook I think and uh, WhatsApp in there I don't use Facebook I don't want uh, don't use uh, WhatsApp I'm using WeChat and Huawei share most of the time and also the download manager but this allows me uh, and telegram for example if I want to pin telegram I hold longer here say pin to top and now it is in the top it is pinned here if I click yes okay and go back you can see that uh, telegram is now added here pin to top and I can click on this and see uh, files that are exchanged via telegram on this device and also you can see underneath this uh, I have uh, some different categories like screenshots, uh, banking, camera images, music, uh, uh, Kinemaster videos uh, so it is also listing a lot of stuff that I worked with lastly and uh, Huawei share stuff and so on so I can see re uh, really the recent files I was working with a pretty handy feature especially if you're working with lots and lots of files and because you know, sometimes Android tends to hide some certain files especially some applications don't have like an always visible file somewhere and they tend to hide those files somewhere and if you want to copy it and searching is, is a bit annoying you can try the recent tab which works pretty nice then we have the Huawei Drive so here land all the uh, yeah, files that you uploaded to your Huawei drive I have the option to create a new uh, folder here if I want to and of course I have the option to upload stuff so I can take a photo or say I want to choose a file to upload to my Huawei drive and I can easily update then um, files here on my Huawei drive so it's a cloud storage uh, offered by Huawei as you can see I'm not really <laughs> using the Huawei drive I have five gigabytes there for free everyone has this but um, yeah maybe I should start using this and then we have the me tab which is which gives you the information about the cloud which is the Huawei drive basically and here you can click on this it will go to your uh, Huawei drive or the cloud storage that you have and you can see I am actually using Huawei drive and using uh, 823 megabytes here uh, by copying contacts calendar notepad browser and Wi-Fi data over there so I can synchronize this with my other Huawei devices I can upgrade the storage and so on but this is not about Huawei drive or the cloud uh, setup but here you can configure it and you can see also file transfers uploads and downloads to the drive if you uh, would have done this and you have of course some settings where you can uh, also set up other things as well like the uh, save uh, downloaded files to folder show hidden files uh, and loading of images clear the cache and check for updates as well so this is the Huawei drive so if we go in for example the documents folder and have a PDF here you can see what I have as options here is also the option to compress the file and this allows me to create a zip file and I have the option to view the zip file here and share the zip file so if you have lots and lots of uh, different uh, images for example you don't want to share them one by one what you can do is create a zip file like this and then just click here and say share and then you have the option to share them via Huawei share for example KD connect next cloud in this case my preferred cloud uh, that I usually use uh, for sharing uh, contacts uh, and so on 
uh, or some other sharing options that you see here in the share menu and of course you have also the option to just delete stuff and I deleted this now and it is gone so this is how you can deal with uh, the Huawei file manager of course you have a search here and if I want to search for example for some music uh, you can see it works as well I found four items and this is in this case a folder and some music and uh, some JPEG file and some music files here and I can click on the folder and it should give me also a music file uh, and yeah this is the search which is pretty powerful and quick as well so if I want to search for the Netflix um, um, package for example it will also show me the Netflix APK that, uh, APK that I downloaded here so also a pretty easy and pretty powerful search um, as well so this is everything for this little video i hope you enjoyed it if you have some questions you can ask them in the comment sections otherwise uh, like or subscribe and until the next time bye